Hello and welcome. This is going to be our lecture video for the periodic trends worksheet. This will serve as our review for the quiz. Let's go ahead and get started with problem number one. Rank the following elements by increasing atomic radius. So whenever we have a rank the following problem, I think a really good strategy is to sketch out a really quick periodic table and then just plot the elements that we're focusing on so that you don't lose track of them. So our four elements are carbon, Carbon is sort of up here. Aluminum, sort of right here. Oxygen and potassium. All right, so I'll just put their chemical symbols in their approximate spot in the periodic table. Now I just have to remember, remind myself which direction the trend of atomic radius goes. Well, it's down and to the left. Down because as we increase energy levels, our atom must get bigger. But to the left, because on the left-hand side, we have weaker nuclei that can't pull in those energy levels as strongly. As we move to the right, we add protons, which help pull in those energy levels and actually shrink the atom. Although we are adding particles, the magnetic attraction helps shrink them. So now I can just follow my arrow to put these in order. It goes oxygen, then carbon, then aluminum, and then potassium. And I could add some emphasis by saying that this is uh, small over here and this is large over here, just to make it very clear that I'm putting it in order of uh, smallest to largest. And next up, we've got a question about electronegativity. So again, let's draw ourselves a quick periodic table. It's not have to be perfect. Um, place our uh, elements. We've got sulfur, oxygen, neon, and aluminum. Now I have to remind myself what the trend of electronegativity is. Electronegativity increases as we go up and to the right. Again, this just has to deal with the strength of the nucleus. Smaller atoms, the valence electrons are closer into the nucleus, therefore the nucleus has a stronger pull on them. And then as we move um, to the right, the same thing is happening. We're adding protons that helps strengthen the pull of the nucleus. But electronegativity has kind of an odd exception. The noble gases all have an electronegativity that's very low. Uh, and that's because this is a measurement of how strongly we want to attract new electrons. Well, the noble gases already have a full octet, so they don't really want new electrons, even though they might have a very strong pull on their current electrons. And so neon is actually gonna be the lowest, followed by aluminum, then sulfur, and then oxygen. And again, we'll add some emphasis that we're going from low to high here. All right, ionization energy is the same trend, but it doesn't have that exception for noble gases. Uh, number four, why do elements in the same family generally have similar properties? It's because they have the same number of valence electrons, generally. That's 100% true for groups. Um, well, with a few exceptions in the transition metals, um, but families can span multiple groups. We see that uh, with the nonmetals, for example. And moving on, all right. So um, I think we can maybe skip to, let's just go all the way to number eight. Circle the atom in each pair that has the largest atomic radius. Uh, again, we're just making comparisons, but I think it could be very helpful to have just a very rough sketch of a periodic table to make these comparisons. All right, aluminum and boron. So boron is right here, aluminum is right below it. Largest atomic radius is gonna be the lower one. Aluminum has an extra energy level and these are lined up. So they're gonna have the exact same um, effect uh, of number of valence electrons. All right, sodium and aluminum. So sodium is over here. Aluminum is still right here. 
This time we're gonna go with sodium, even though it's the lower atomic number, because it's further to the left, the, and they have the same number of energy shells, the, the nucleus won't pull as strongly on that one valence electron of sodium, and uh, it will kind of expand to be much bigger. All right, sulfur and oxygen. We'll go with the sulfur, oxygen, and fluorine. We'll go with the oxygen. Um, yep. Again, this is our trend this direction. Uh, bromine and chlorine. CLBR, we'll go with the bromine further down. Magnesium or calcium, those are over here, one right on top of the other. We'll go with the calcium for having that extra energy level. All right, on to the back side. We've got some more where we're doing these comparisons. Um, let's just pick one of these. I think we did the electronegativity one earlier, so let's do the ionization. Let's do number nine. Again, I sketch a quick periodic table. Does not have to be perfect. There we go. Uh, lithium or beryllium. So one right next to the, the other, we have lithium and beryllium. But ionization energy is the energy required to remove an electron. And so it's going to uh, increase as we go left to right as that nucleus has a stronger pull, but it will decrease as we go down because the electron that you'll be removing is further separated from that nucleus and the nucleus can't pull as strongly on it. So that's why it's the exact opposite trend of atomic radius. Atomic radius is how strongly the nucleus is pulling on those valence electrons. Uh, and so that's why it shrinks with the stronger pull and it's easier to ionize an electron that isn't pulled as uh, tightly. So uh, greater ionization energy would be beryllium here, further to the right. Calcium or barium, so that's right here and right here. One right on top of the other, we're gonna go with calcium. Sodium and potassium, so sodium's right here, potassium's right here, we'll go with sodium. Phosphorus and arsenic. So that's or AR is it? No, that's argon. Arsenic is AS. So phosphorus and argon. Uh, argon's a noble gas, but the special rule doesn't apply for ionization energy. Noble gases are very difficult to ionize because they have the perfect octet. So they have very high ionization energy while they have very low electronegativity. Uh, we'll keep going, chlorine and silicon. So those are in the same uh, period, but chlorine is further to the right. So chlorine wins and then lithium and potassium will go with lithium. Again, it's, it's smaller, uh, greater attraction there. Uh, define electronegativity. It is how strongly an atom attracts electrons. Uh, and there's some caveats here. So if it's just an atom by itself, it's how strongly it's attracting a new electron, like an electron it wants to add to its orbitals. Or if it's in a bond, then it's uh, a bond, two atoms are sharing electrons, but they might not share them equally. The uh, atom that's more electronegative will sort of hog the electrons. All right, let's call that good for this lecture video. There's a full written out key um, on the class calendar as well, and have a good rest of your day.